Should I just give an introduction? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> uh, my name is Trisha Bolton, and this is Luisa Bueno, and this is our Fletcher Free Body Project that we did inspired by a conversation we had with someone who works here named Barbara. Um, she was making a lot of allegories between like parts of the library and parts of a body. So, um, so this is our prosthetic leg, which was the allegory for um, the ravine and the construction effort that happened after an earthquake disrupted the foundation of the building. So we kind of wanted to show like, um, you know, regrowing from bodily trauma and becoming better and being able to stand on your own two legs because um, we that the bones are more of an allegory for just like the structure of the building and how it like stands up. So we thought this was a cool way to represent like growing from an injury and, um, you know, keep on going on. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, I like how I did the um, the hatching in this. And then I like how I used acrylic to kind of create a metal effect. That's one of my favorite parts of the piece. I tried to do a little more of that up here, but I don't know. <laughs> I, I really like the um, the use of um, like the paint medium we did. We didn't really have like, we actually only had white, black, and red when you we were doing this project. So those were the only colors we used, uh, which was kind of a challenge. Cause I definitely think that using like paint to create details in areas was pretty cool. Um, but I liked that uh, we used white for like the highlights of this piece. I think it like makes parts um, go forward <laughs> and adds a lot of depth that we wouldn't have had otherwise. I like the each part has it's labeled with the body part and the room that it represents, um, and then the labels like go into like bigger or deeper detail as to um, how they relate and such. Some of the, most some of the. Labels also have pictures of each part of the library so that people have like a visual representation. Um, and it also um, with the new leg and support beam, um, it as well as an analogy of the library itself and how it works, it also gives a little bit of history um, based on the support beams which were basically built into the wall because um, the library's built. The library was built on um, a poorly filled in ravine, so they had to put support beams in the wall to um, make it so that the library wouldn't collapse. So, for the quilling part up here, um, we used a blue and red to represent um, the left brain and right brain uh, to represent like those different sides of the brain and to add more color and such um we made one side blue and one side red um the point of this is basically just to like teach kids more about how the library works and get them interested in coming and um just to build community in the burlington area hi my name is kagan smith i did a project on or called community book recommendations and it involved putting posters around the library with um, just fun designs you know something to get catch the eye you know, I got a title, just, what's your favorite book? And there's big empty spaces on all the posters that you would write in. So what you would do, the, the idea for this project is you would see the QR code and you would scan it and it would redirect to a Google form. And then it is just a couple questions. Right now, the form just says, oh, what's your favorite book? And just like, what's your name? How old are you kind of thing? And um, that's all there is for now. It might change in the future. It just has, it's very kind of fluid right now. Um, and then I took the recommendations that I have now from both my prototypes and just from last week when I had first set this up and put in here. So we have, you know, Murder on the Orient Express is someone's recommendation from the Google form. Um, this specific design is, uh, is made for this like teen space. So I tried to make something that fit the space specifically. Whereas there are two other posters in the area. There's one in the manga and comic section, and there's one in the mystery section. Those two posters, though, are identical, but I went for a different design that I thought would fit that sort of idea better. Hi, I'm Nick Dalton, and I am the creator of History Videos. 
And this particular project is a history documentary video about the history of the Fletcher Free Library, in which it's a six minute video in where I debrief various aspects of the Fletcher Free Library's history, from the day it was created all the way up to the present day and even some future plans. I cover it all the way back in like the 1870s, 1970s, and then obviously today. And I designed this poster and the whole project as a whole around the QR code on the poster where people can take like their phone and scan the QR code and they would get direct access to the video because the video is hosted on YouTube. And the re reason why I chose to host it on YouTube is ease of access since YouTube is a public platform with a lot of people on it. And I figured hosting the video there would get a lot of people to be able to view it uh, very easily. So I designed five of these posters and they're hung around the library. And I put the QR code on there to allow people to be able to access the video. And just taking, just the QR code takes you to the video and that's pretty much it. Favorite portion of the video is um, me ta is about talking about the 1980s renovation because I show some old archived pictures from the history room that I was very surprised to find myself. And I really like showcasing those since it shows the overall edition's originality and when it was before all the shelves were put in and everything like that back when it was brand new. And I really think it's awesome. I really love that part of the video. And also just actually going to go take the pictures of those old photographs was really interesting because I was really surprised I even found those. So uh, yeah, that was probably that was probably something that I would say that it was the most interesting. Uh, my name is Olive. Um, I did a project with uh, Kagan. It's kind of like the part two. And uh, basically the idea is to um, promote reading by recommending books from visitors and from library staff. So my portion of the project kind of focused on um, the librarian's uh, participation. And the idea was that they um, create an art piece based on the book they'd like to recommend and then it's hung up around the library and uh, there's a QR code available for visitors to uh, recommend their own books. Yeah, so I actually, originally I wanted to take um, more of a physical approach uh, with bigger physical displays. Um, and the reason behind that is because I feel like it draws people in a little bit more. It's more eye-catching. Um, it grabs people's attention and makes you want to go over and see what it is. Um, versus something digital, it, you know, it's smaller, it's more accessible everywhere, even outside of the library. So having a physical display is kind of a way of getting people in and looking around and um, engaging with uh, the art itself as well as like the library, the people in the library. My favorite book? Uh, oh, I am a big fan of Catcher in the Rye. <laughs> That's up there. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'm Sandy Harrison, and uh, my project is uh, like the Community Bench Project. And the original idea for my uh, project was actually to actually build a physical bench outside that would actually aid the homeless population within the area. But um, due to like <laughs> budgetary restrictions and like not having the time or resources, I've had to kind of put it into this and <laughs> make it into this. So um, basically what I'm doing is like having the community come and build prototypes of benches they would want outside of the library. Because even when I was doing my original plan, I didn't know what it was gonna look like. I already was going, I was planning on asking the community anyway. So I thought the prototype was a good idea to get people involved in the project and like actually thinking about my original idea. Well, I've, I've lived in Burlington for like almost two years now and I mean it's kind of hard to live in Burlington and not notice like the homeless population around and uh, I've, I've actually talked to a lot of the homeless in the area and I, 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 I like them a lot. I think they're really good people, most of them, and I, you know, I, I just feel for them and I want to I wanna use my art and my influence for, for good and not just for nothing. I want it to actually make an impact. I mean, I, I really would want to. That was my original goal and what I really wanted to do and accomplish is make an artistic bench that could serve not only to like attract people to the library, but also help out the, you know, population around. And 
I don't know. I mean, it's my hope that it will, but I, you know, it, it, like you said, it is such a debated t topic and not, a, and not everybody's going to agree with whatever, you know, so it's, it's kind of up to the, it's up to the library, really. Uh, my name is Nicole Sylvester, and I, my project is based off of What's Your Favorite Book series, and the reason why I originally picked it was because when you read a, a book series, oftentimes you want to share it with other people, so you're like, you've got to read this book, it's awesome, I loved it, you need to, you need to read this, so I thought, why not share your favorite book series with other people, and then how, give a chance for other people to write down their own and if you never read it or you're curious about it you can just take one of these and go find out if it's something that you're interested in. Uh, the, I also was thinking about doing like color-coded things so it would be like a little key over here like each color is a different kind of book series so if you liked a specific kind like if you like Nancy Drew for example if you like the like kind of mystery detective thing or if you were more the maze runner which is like uh, more actiony and less detective so it yeah and people have different interests so you might not be interested in Winnie the Pooh or the Hunger Games but if you like Harry Potter then there are other suggestions that people could make like this book is also about wizards and schools and if you like this, you can have a chance at this. So you could put, if you like Harry Potter, check this out. Um, I'm Sinai Hill, and this is my elevated reading project. Basically, it's just in a response to the elevator um, being out of commission in the upcoming days. I don't know when exactly, but soon. Ideally, it's getting fixed. And while it's getting fixed, people are going to need like a space that isn't upstairs because usually some people really do need the elevator to move up and down the floor space. So when that's out of commission, they'll have to use the stairs. Or if they can't use the stairs, they'd probably have to have another space. So this would be the other space, essentially, a reading area somewhere in the main reading area, basically. If that makes sense? Yeah, it's a good pun. I do love puns. Yeah, it's good. It came out pretty fine. Um, all things considering, but I mean, hand doing it by hand is a lot of work, and um, I just want it to be uh, legible and readable, and um, I don't know, colorful. You can tell what it is. It's pretty clear. So yeah, that's big issue. But other than that, was fine. Hello, my name is Raz, and this is my project. So the title is uh, "Get to Know the Space." So basically, um, there are 11 colors, and you need to like choose one. And uh, behind those colors, there will be a like message, like here, each. And if you pick, let's like, say, a green, and then you see there's like a question to answer. You and and then underneath there will be a question. It's is the library just a place to store? and uh, lean books. This one it says uh, which spot is your favorite in the library and then why would you pick that spot. And then you get a notebook. On a notebook you write, write it down what's the question telling. And after that um, put it on the blackboard over there. And then if you're done, when you're done you can get uh, free candy as of saying thank you for doing it. Uh, my favorite part of uh, doing project was uh, like basically a drawing hand, drawing and then coloring, 